Hi there, this is Phil from xl-macros.co.uk. I'm going to give you a very quick demo uh, today to show you a, a great way of getting some significant performance improvements using uh, where you currently use the VLOOKUP formula. Um, and you do this by instead using the index match formulas. So I'm going to demonstrate how you use it and to uh, show the performance improvement that you can gain by um, this approach. So I've got some mock data. All of this data is entirely made up, um, so don't go and email any of these addresses. I'm sure they won't work. Um, and what I've got is 50,000 rows. You can see uh, at the bottom uh, 50,000 rows with first names, last names, email addresses, etc. And then I've got a separate sheet next to it, uh, VLOOKUP, where I'm trying to look up against the ID um, of each of the 50,000 rows, I'm looking up the first name and last name. I'm sure many of you have seen examples like this where we want to look up multiple columns across multiple sheets. And the VLOOKUP, it, particularly if you're using thousands or tens of thousands of rows of data, really does perform very poorly. So I've created also a macro to uh, not just copy down my VLOOKUP formulas, but also to time how long it takes to copy down those formulas. And by doing this, I'm hoping to show a um, sizable performance improvement by using this different approach. So I'm going to click this button now, and this is copying down the VLOOKUP formula, pulling across the first name and last name, um, looking up against the ID column. So. And we can see that the VLOOKUP has taken 9.7 seconds to complete. OK, now, um, if I go into the index match column, um, I will just explain um, how the index match uh, formulas are working, because um, you may not be familiar entirely with um, these formulas. So firstly, uh, you'll notice that I've got a, an additional column in here. Uh, and this additional column is showing me the row. Um, so what this is doing is it's using the match formula and it's looking up a particular ID. So this is the ID within the mock data column A. So mock data column A is the, um, the column that holds the ID within the mock data. And it's um, this value here is match type. And this means that we want an exact match. It's very similar to where you use false in a VLOOKUP. So I'm looking for an exact match within the first column of mock data where the ID is equal to 1. So what this is effectively giving me is the row number where this ID exists within mock data column A. So row 2 is ID 1. And you can see within mock data um, row 2 is ID 1. So that's giving me that. Then what I use is the index formula. And the index formula gives me um, really a um, the index of a um, within a range where a, a you provide it the row and the column and it then finds the value within that range for that index um, column row combination. So I'm giving it the range, which is um, mock data columns B and C, uh, which is the first name and last names columns. And then I'm giving it the row, which is the row that we've just calculated using the match formula. And then I'm asking for column 1, which is the first name column. If we look in um, this formula, the formula is exactly the same, except for the fact that I'm taking column 2. Okay, so as I jump between those two formulas, you can see that I'm taking column one here and column two here. An alternative might be that maybe I would just want to take mock data column B and take um, the first column, obviously column B, and then if I pull that across, then I would take mock data column C and again just take the first column. Obviously column C is then the last name. Um, either way would work absolutely fine. So now I need to pull down all three um, columns, copy them down all the way to the bottom. I'm not going to do it manually, I'm going to use my macro because again that can time the amount, um, of the number of seconds that it takes to complete. So that's now copying down and 
my uh, pop-up box has appeared and it took 4.98 seconds. So we saw earlier, I think the VLOOKUP took uh, 9.7 seconds. So we can see that it's, it's almost half the amount of time. And the reason it's half the amount of time is because the VLOOKUP is doing twice as many lookups because the VLOOKUP is looking up on this column and it's looking up in this column whereas the match is only actually looking up here it's then storing the row number that is um, where the match is found and then it's using that row number as an index within the index and the index function has some overhead it takes some time but it's a lot quicker than performing another lookup so particularly if you're going to do this across lots of columns I've seen um, customers before that do VLOOKUPs across 10, 20 columns all looking up the same value um, you'll see sizable performance improvements in cases like that um, using the index and match combination. Of course VLOOKUP has um, some other downsides you have to always have your index um, in the or the, the, the value you're looking up against it always needs to be in the leftmost column of the range you're looking at so you can always go across whereas index match we could have the ID um, in in this column if we wanted to and we could match against um, columns to the left so that would be absolutely fine we could use a, a negative value as the um, the the column um, number here so that's another advantage um, I guess the the only advantage I can see really of VLOOKUP is that it's slightly simpler because um, it's just one formula rather than using two and you're not having to store this row um, as a separate column. Um, you wouldn't have to store this as a separate column but of course if you if you perform the match twice once in this formula and once in this formula then you're not getting the performance benefits of only doing the lookup once. Um, the only thing I would add to this um, presentation so clearly index match um, outperforms VLOOKUP um, in this context. The only time that VLOOKUP would outperform index match is if you had sorted data. If you knew that your data was sorted, so let me just sort this data. If you know that your data is sorted, and that was a bit silly because that's now performing all of my lookups again, so we'll just wait for that to complete. So if you know that your data is sorted, what you can actually do is rather than doing an exact match you could do an approximate match using the true keyword and if I just remove all of those so that I copy my data down again so all I've done is change from true to false but I know that my data is sorted in the other sheet when I then perform my copy down macro to copy the data down the VLOOKUP then takes only half a second so that is a significant improvement on both the index, the match um, or the VLOOKUP with um, an exact match. So that is the fastest option. You can also do a match lookup using a approximate match using the same principle of requiring sorted data. Um, but in my experience, normally I can't guarantee the data is sorted, um, so I like I prefer to use false just to be completely confident in the fact that I'm getting um, an exact match. Um, but it's worth knowing that if you really need significant performance improvements, then you can go that approach, and you just need to make sure the data is sorted. Okay, that's everything I think I wanted to um, demonstrate in this video. Thanks for watching today. If you um, have found it helpful, then please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Um, go on to xl-macros.co.uk for other training videos. Or um, Also, we've, we're creating lots of free tools for you to download to do useful, useful things in Excel. So um, thanks for watching today. Bye-bye.